Welcome back to another video here for the first Descendants. Now we're going to be talking about something very controversial that is happening in game and also in the community and that is end game and microtransactions specifically with energy activators. We're going to be talking about exactly why is this such a huge problem right now and I agree with it and well what the heck exactly is going on so let's go ahead and get started and exactly what is an energy activator if you don't know and how is it used and how it is a problem so let's go down to enhancement materials right here and energy activators it takes a day and six hours to make uh, 750,000 gold and also these research materials can take some time to get at least a few hours and then the energy activator blueprints has a two percent chance of dropping from a boss which you have to farm materials for in order to get the chance to drop this item so it can take a very long time to craft <clears throat> let's just say that it takes you about a day to farm these items and then you have to wait 30 hours to craft the item and then use it so it could take you days to get a single one of these and that is basically a true end game item that is how you increase your weapons your character for example right now my thunder cage isn't even maxed out as you can see i still have um i've only got 46 but i can use one of these energy activators i did not buy this i actually farmed for it and you can increase your capacity to max okay and it uses one of these so example if we have gonna max out three weapons and a character that's four per account and one per it's insane and if you actually really wanted to you can go down to support materials in the shop and buy it for 1200 caliber which is well over 20 pounds or 20 dollars in american uh yeah that is an insane amount now why is this an issue well being an end game item as it is the only way to get your accounts and characters up it's an issue now i don't really have a problem with the battle pass or your descendants you can buy descendants if you want because they don't really cost that much anyway um ultimate characters whatever limited skins whatever these things it doesn't really matter but then when you come down to support materials and you scroll down and you have like a thousand caliber for all these items which you can't just play the game for that doesn't really take too much time to craft like an hour or like five ten minutes or something but then when you have the chance to buy something that costs 30 hours to craft and so much time it's an issue especially with like mega dungeons that are going to be coming out and if the game does actually end up implementing raids into the game who has the upper hand and who has the you know the advantage over normal players that is the people that are going to be swiping their credit cards streamers the um the whales that just buy everything in game now for people that just want to have fun and play the game sure you can do that you don't have to buy a single thing in this game but what if you just want to have you know a chance at doing a world's first mega dungeon what if you just want to play with some people as well your friends that are higher up as well what if you don't have the time to spend so many hours into this game if you don't play for a single day you are way behind in game now sure this game isn't a major pve competitive scene or anything like that or pve or pvp but there is no real level playing field when it comes to items like this now i think it's absolutely ridiculous how you have to wait so long in order to craft a certain item and on top of that the three percent chance of dropping a certain material to craft the energy activator now i haven't played warframe but i can imagine it's kind of the same thing but i have seen some comments of people playing the game warframe and they also think that some of the items in this game are insane now let's say that the mega dungeon is out and i want to go ahead and go for worlds first and there's other bunch of other people that are doing worlds first and what if someone completes it in about let's just say 20 minutes and i've been stuck on the same place for about an hour now do i think that they are a very good player or do i just think that they have swiped their account and used their credit card in order to buy the best items in the game and just absolutely decimate everything and not give anyone else a chance at even competing now i'll be honest i'm not going to be taking this game super serious this is like kind of a weird topic because it's really not that serious i'm not going to be taking it to the point where i'm getting frustrated and angry that people are beating the game way faster than me and i'm having a tantrum no it's more or less how you can able to buy end game items for such an expensive amount and on top of that if you want to play it for free you have to wait so long i don't have a real issue when it comes to buying certain items but when it costs so much money and it costs so much time to craft it's really 
really an issue. Now, I think when I was actually making the enhancement material, the energy activator, I think when I actually did craft it, you have the chance to make the 30 hours turn into zero time limit. And I think that alone costs like 10, 12 pounds or something like that. So you even have to spend more money to even just use the thing you farm for instead of waiting over a day. Um, I can wait three hours. I can wait five hours. Okay, four, five hours, six hours. It's not really an issue. I can just turn the game off, go outside, uh, you know, get some food, spend time with my girlfriend, whatever it is. But 30 hours? Holy, like, what? I really want to know what you guys think about this topic in the comments section. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people buy skins. It's okay. A lot of people buy characters. It's fine. It's not really going to change the game. It's not going to really make you a stronger character or a stronger player. It's just a character that you have to spend time with. But when it comes to items that literally make a difference to your account, literally make you buying just one stronger than like 80% of players. Oh, well, I mean, it's a topic that can go on and on and on. Now, recently, I did make a video showing you on how to farm energy activators and crystallizers and crystals pretty easily. You can get it done in just about a few hours. If you really rush it, you can decrease that time limit. But still, a lot of people in that video and uh, I have been told that even the 3% chance of dropping a certain material in order to get it is, you know, going to increase that time limit a lot. Now, if you had to just farm normal items for an, a, a, um, the energy activator, it's okay. Um, when it comes to like really, really bad RNG, that's a serious problem. And then on top of that, um, you know, if you don't have luck on your side, you're going to have to wait even longer. And it's just going to get people very frustrated. And you're kind of pushed into spending money into this game really when it comes to certain items like for example um if you are going to be going into a dungeon and you're quite under leveled and you want to get it done quickly and you're trying to craft a upgrade material for your weapons in order to infuse that weapon and upgrade it you do have to wait sometimes an hour you know 10 minutes whatever or you can just spend a little bit of cash to make that time limit zero um you're kind of pushed into it a little bit for example let's just go ahead in game right now and let's just say I want to craft something, okay? Um, what can we buy here? Let's just go to uh, enhancement materials, okay? Let's just say that I want to craft four of these because I want to upgrade some of my weapons. Now, if you do craft it, I have to wait 10 minutes. Or I can just spend three caliber in order to make that time limit zero. I can do that, but I don't want to do that. Um, okay, 10 minutes is nothing. 10 minutes, I can go, you know, make some coffee. I can go to the bathroom, whatever. But what if I want to craft 15 of these? It's going to take me an hour. What if I want to play Glay and someone in my team needs a Glay? It's going to take me 16 hours. That's an issue. What if I want to craft a Lepic or maybe a, how about the ultimate Lepic? It's going to take me a day and 12 hours. <laughs> Insanity. Anyway, that's what I think about it. I want to know what your thoughts about it in the comment section. I hope this video does get taken well. Or if it is negative, I don't really think you can be negative about a topic like this. I'm pretty sure everyone wants to grind out a game, but I'm pretty sure all of you do not want to spend 30 hours on a waiting list in order to get your item that you just spent 24 hours crafting. Let me down in the comments what you think about everything, and I'll see you all very soon.